Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Look, this is Annabelle. This is myself. Fully Croyson put those together for us about a year ago. Yes, we're ready. We're ready for Pulse Chain. See, everyone showed up early tonight. You guys are ready to go. Um, I'm going to have to get a secretary to check all these extra chains. <laughs> Chad says, who cares? You act, guys act more and more like a cult every day. Not talking about certain projects because became you uh, about to anger the fellow cult members constantly. Jen, blah, 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 blah. dude, this guy needs to get an education. Uh, Alan Bittner says the 555. 5555 Tour Documentary Season 1, Episode 4 came out today on KSB TV. Yep, and I have that here. I'm not going to play it, but um, you can see it. KSB TV. Wow, they're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. So go over, here, go over there and subscribe to those guys. Uh, they're doing a good job showing content and what's going on in the community. Every other day, a new episode releases. People share their life-changing stories with Hex. Please like and subscribe to KHB TV YouTube channel. Yes. Everyone get on over there and do that. Um, Steve D says, we have a Hex meetup in Seattle. Max and Bran and all in, and all us Hexicans want to jump on and say hi. Hey, Steve. RH, Max, Bran. Hello, everybody. I hope everyone's doing great tonight. Don't drink too many. Make sure you get a safe ride home. <laughs> Drop a stream yard link. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I can't remember. See, I'm not used to having other people on the stream with me. Dun -dun. Invite. Copy. Let me send it to him on his Twitter. This is going to be for RH Max. Max. Sorry, I'm not putting it in the general chat, but you guys can understand. All right. Let me see. Send a message. There we go. Boom. Folks want to jump on. It is Sunday night. It's the night before Halloween. We had our Halloween day today. Took the kiddo out. He was dressed up like Steve from Minecraft. Had a good old time. It was a lot of fun. Let's see if anybody, how these guys are going to do this. <laughs> I'm missing out on the say I don't meet up. Nah, I'm, I'm good where I am. But I'd love to have stop by and say hi. Abbott, much loved. Yep. Hi, all. Hi, Randy. Thank you for all you do. I really appreciate it. No problem, Text Hex. Glad to have you. What's good, people? Lots of local celebrities in the chat tonight. Yeah. <laughs> our community is something else. You know, you got our haters. You got people that hate us, you know, I'm from the outside looking in. And then you got the community itself. It's really supportive. We help each other out. Um, everyone learns from each other. And just that's how it should be. Good evening, Hex Monkey. Happy Halloween to you. Cool gamer. Hello. Stas. Yo, now it's 5 a.m. for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> missed the whole week hey no you know i i stopped i didn't do uh thursday night because i thought there was a quinceanera that we were supposed to go to but i'll get to that story in a minute um but we had a the quinceanera was awesome it just wasn't on the day that we thought it was <laughs> right like crypto yeah that was the party it was something else what up y'all blue collar grunt blue collar grunt nice were you marine Boo-hoo, Chad. Happy Halloween, y'all. Yeah, boo-hoo, Chad. Soldier Pete. Yo, Randy, I'm ready for the week and the pulse. Let's go. Like in the Oracs, playing with it. Yep, Soldier Pete signed up, started using the Oracs. Cool. What's going on, people? Hey, Steven. Optimus Kevtron. George Chops. I love seeing George Chops around. It's, it's like a name. Go it's one of those names that just sticks in your head and, and seeing him around since the beginning. We need a 50-man stream. Come on, Randy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not that good at managing stuff. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. Yo, yo. What's up, everybody? How you doing tonight? 
Doing good, man. Doing good. We're at Hex.com bowling right now. Hex meetup. Oh, we got Jerry Hilton. We got uh, Chris of Compassion here. We got Steve. We got uh, Little uh, Bubble. I got a little, got a little bubble back here. Yeah. Who the fuck did the Little Bubble thing? We got Valley Bridge. <laughs> I'm in the house too. I'm in the video. All right, guys. <laughs> See, that's the nice thing about living in the West Coast. You guys got so many cool places. I can barely hear you, so I may talk over you for a minute. But oh, oh, that's right. Okay. I have like a one second delay in my ear now. Anyway, uh, Randy, thanks for having us. We can be here if you. Want. We're doing meetups around once a month or so, and uh, every once in a while there'll be a Jenna Texican that will uh, sponsor the whole thing, and we'll go bowling, we'll go out to all kinds of fun, so if you're watching this thing, come, come see the uh, Seattle area, and otherwise, because uh, we're out here having a blast, we'll go Nick as well, so uh, yeah. I can barely hear it. We're going to sign off, though. We're going to go. Uh, we got unlimited tokens for the games right now, right after bowling. <laughs> and we got a good to have, so we got to hear it. Thanks for having us, Randy, though. Have a good stream, man. Love All you, right, Randy. you guys. You guys have a great night. <laughs> awesome. That was awesome, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> we need a 50-man stream. Come on. I don't even know what the max is. It might be uh, 10 or something like that. Yeah, I did post a link already, Stephen. Will PLS be a PLSX be a fork of pancake? Which which pancake is a form of Uniswap? <laughs> Pearl, I I don't even know what the forks are anymore. I'm just glad that we have one, and it's gonna work, right? It's gonna be similar to pancake, and cake is going to be, uh, you know, uh, we're gonna have a, a form of cake as well. We just don't know what's gonna be called. Randers, good to see y'all. Yeah, thanks, Funk Master. Good to see you. Welcome. Crypto Sloth, yo. Clintrons. You know what's so cool about our, our streaming community is that we're all pretty tight. Whenever somebody needs a guest on, they message me, hey, Randy, you want to come on? I'm like, yeah, sure, sure, I'll come on. Hex God Turtle. <laughs> Hex God Turtle, that's awesome. Happy Halloween to you too. What are we all going to do when Pulse comes out? Yeah, that's the thing. It's the chicken or the egg going on right now. Clintrons, welcome. Thank you. Um, you know, what's going to come out first? Is it going to be Pulse Chain itself or is it going to be the documentary? And what are your opinions? Where do you guys want? What do you guys want to see happen? I know what I would like to see happen. Seriously. I got, I got my dreams. Marion, happy Halloween to you. Looks like poor Pleb's about to release. What's your thoughts? Well, I sacrificed for poor Pleb. It was only 350 bucks because it's a meme coin, right? But uh, I hope it does something. I would like to see that 350 turn into maybe 35,000. Can we pump it? Gotta pump it up. <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah, Marianne. Yeah. Hey, Seattle fam. That was a little bubble squared. <laughs> we got two little bubbles. <laughs> hey, Randy, you have that exact cap. It's awesome, isn't it? This is it's really nice. And I think I got the Hex merch and I got this one too. I got the dad hats because, you know, I'm a dad and I don't like flat brim caps. I like them curved. Old school. Your live, first live stream, Hexaval. Uh-oh. You're going to get addicted, man. Look, I cannot. I, I can barely watch regular stuff anymore. I, I like live streams. I like the interaction. I like the fact that... Whether it's me watching a live stream or people watching me, I like the the communicate uh, the community communication and the community feel where you can talk to people. And I've got a great live stream coming up this week with my first business partner here in Panama, Mike Brown. He um he works at a vault in Panama, in Panama Pacifico, which is the old Howard Air Force Base, and he's been the manager there for years. But he was my first business partner, and he really is one of the guys that helped me launch and helped me get me into uh to where I am today. So I can't wait to start telling some stories later this week. It'll be a daytime one, a daytime live stream, but it'll be part of my gold series. Great. We put the clocks back. Oh, here, did we? I don't change clocks. Uh, that's, a, that's something you guys do up north. 
Hex evolved. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I just got off work and they're two hours away. <laughs> yeah. There'll be zombies by the time you get there. Uh, and you'll, you'll be a zombie from driving for two hours. Can we do our free claim on poor pleb yet? I don't know, Corey. I don't qualify because I'm a whale. <laughs> <laughs> the the sacrifice was a thousand bucks. I'm like a thousand, and I looked at all the places I could do it. I didn't qualify for shit. So, yeah. Version three docked and launched to pump my hex before launch. Hex rule chocolate. I will take that. I will take that. <laughs> Pulse first could see a dump. Documentary could never see a bottom. Either way is good for me, right? Like, yep. All right, so let's talk about that real quick. Let's get a couple of these. Pulse could launch by Nova Arm. Yep, dads rock. Yes, they do. All right, so um, the chicken or the egg? Which one comes first? Are we going to have the documentary? Are we going to have Pulse Chain? Now, I think it would make sense. The best case scenario is we launched near the bottom of the market, which is between, you know, now and the end of the year, which I think is going to be the bottom. And we also finish off version three then launch Pulse Chain. And then like two weeks after Pulse Chain launches, documentary hits. Boom. Slap that shit. That's going to be the best case scenario, in my opinion, because that is the best marketing that we could ever get is going to be that documentary. It's going to be crazy. It's going to bring so many eyeballs in. I just watched the first three episodes of the Wall Street Bets series about uh, uh, GameStop. And going through and seeing how that one worked and how they got the world interested in Wall Street Bets reminds me of how we're doing it with, with Hex, or how we did it with Hex and how we're going to do it with Pulse Chain. We are literally going to have a documentary about the founder, which is going to bring people. I don't know if any, if you guys are like me, you sit with your phone when you're watching TV and when you're watching something, right? Something interesting pops up, an actor may pop up or an actress or something is said that you like suspect it. You know, you're like, oh, is, I don't think that's right. I sit there and I look it up. You know, I'll go people, I'll go follow people on social media when I watch the, these documentaries. You guys do the same thing? Now imagine when Pulse Chain launches. Every single one of us. So if there, there's 120,000 wallets, whatever it is for Hex, out of those 120,000 wall, 20, wallets, what if 15,000 of us are real? It's real people be, behind those wallets. Now, what if we each go and tell our friends to go watch that video? Who knows <laughs> how many people we can get to see that, get to see that. And then Netflix, hopefully Netflix, it gets into the hot section. I don't know how that works. Like here in Panama, it says the top 10 most viewed videos in Panama. And it'll, it'll tell, tell us which is the top 10. If we can get that into the top 10, virality, we're gone. We're off to the races. And hopefully it's right at the beginning of the bull market. So then we could have two years of... Upward price momentum up and to the right. And uh, those people that, like me, who have been kind of pessimistic with the price, saying that we might only get to, you know, a dollar fifty or dollar seventy five for the next bull run. If that happens, I'm not talking about hex. If that happens, hex can go to five, six, seven bucks. It could. Pulse chain, who knows where that's going to go? <laughs> I, I stick to my 100x 90 days, probably, you know. More than that in the next, in the first six months, 200, 250x. But this is this could happen too. Pulse could first see a dump. It's not going to go below the 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 entry price, right? But uh, it could just be in a lull for a little while. You know, it could go up and then go back down, like a typical ICO or anything else, any other sacrifice. That's typically what happens, and I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. He drawn one like this, one like this. I coast one like this, slow down, right? I mean, this is what happens with cryptos when they launch. You saw what happened to PLSD. You saw what happened to Pulse Doge Win. They've, they've all done it. All the projects that are coming to Pulse Chain 
all started off with heavy, you know, pretty fast, did very well, and then they slowed down. That's a normal reaction in any cryptocurrency. It's Marion. So giving heck shots. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. So stoked to say good day to you and show off our heads and our awesome hex Seattle family. Cool, Steve. Glad you guys are having fun. Work wouldn't be my excuse. It's <laughs> two hours. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Dump out early, Marion. <laughs> yeah. PP free claim is after it launches. Okay, Duke. Thank, thanks, Randy, for all your crypto question. No problem. Max said you're his good luck charm. Max just got three strikes in a row. <laughs> really? <laughs> Poor pleb. Brandy gets nothing. <laughs> yeah, I get my I sacked, right? But I don't get anything for free. Only 10 likes, guys. Smash the hitchhiker on the left. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Imagine if time change was decentralized and everyone <laughs> individual discretion. Look, just get rid of the damn thing, man. Seriously. I always disliked it when I was a kid. I liked going to the bus stop and it was pitch black out. I liked it. Right? And then the times changed, then it was sunny, or then it was bright out. It's, there was something about walking to the bus stop at 7 a.m. and it was snowing, you know, had six inches of snow on the ground. And it was just black. You know, I, I I loved it. I don't know, there's something about it. And then the clocks changed and there went the there went the coolness of it all. About time, yeah. <laughs> what channel is the Wall Street Bet show on? It's on uh, Netflix. Just look up uh, I how I found it. I typed in, um, geez, what's the name of the stock? Get GME, whatever that is. Uh, GameStop. Type in GameStop, and then it will show up. Because the title of ours was in Spanish, so that's how. I, that's why I just typed in GameStop. 50% of what you hear is 51% bullshit, <laughs> at least. David is damn straight. <laughs> I tend up. Next movie will be D-Day. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't wait. We got so much in the pipeline. So much thing is happening. It's. Did you guys watch um, Cabana's show on Friday? Now, the GT3 guys, you know, the, the racing team the, with the Lamborghinis, they are trying to move up to the top class and be in the top series. Right now we're in the second series and the third series. They want to move us to the top series, have one car in the top, two in the second, two in the third. I think I think that's what they are. Maybe it's one in the top, two in the second, one in the third, which means all three different racing leagues in the UK. Man, I think that's going to be awesome. Just absolutely awesome. And they're going to keep, looks like they're going to keep uh, Hex as a, and Pulse Chain as sponsors. Ox Collette, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Randy. Originally, the THOS crew wanted RH to launch PLS so that they could squeeze it into the DACO, okay, documentary, but it couldn't happen. So it makes no sense to me that PLS would launch before the documentary. So it makes no sense to me, though. Good. I hope not. I think documentary first, then Pulse Chain documentary in November. Really, Edward? I hope not. Because we want somewhere for people to go to, right? In this case, all right, so if the documentary does launch, I guess it's just Hex, right? It's just Hex that they can, which is no no problem. Hex is great, right? Uh, but the launch of Pulse Chain, I think, along with all the other positive energies behind the launch of Pulse Chain, adding that is like putting gasoline on the fire that's that's how i'm looking at it but if it doesn't happen if it's just hex fine maybe maybe hex gets a nice pump out of it i had boarded two no coiners earlier got them both to subscribe to rh youtube i always say a warning if you look up fuck you money in the dictionary i tell them rh face is there so he <laughs> brace yourself yeah <laughs> Yeah, at the peak of the last bull market, I sure felt like I had fuck you money too. But, you know, the market's come back down and this normal part. I mean, this is a normal thing of crypto. This is the second time that it's happened to me in a big way where we were down, our portfolio is down about 80%. But man, where else in money and where else in life does something like that happen? You just shrug your shoulders like, eh, it's okay. The difference between 2018 
And this bull cycle is that my crypto pays me yield every day, 365 days a year. And not just in one cryptocurrency, it pays me yield in two cryptocurrencies. I get Hedron every day and I get pull, um, Hex every day. Damn, it feels good. Hopefully there is a Hex QR code. You need to swap at the end of the documentary for people and make it see. Paul, write them, tell them. Look, got to put that in there, guys. Um, who's uh, Big Kirkow Tell Big Kirkowski. He's a smart guy. He knows to do that kind of stuff. Sorry. <laughs> about to sneeze. All right. Don't worry. I don't get any PP2. <laughs> Not a whale. <laughs> Marion. <laughs> you know people are going to read into that one. Uh, yes. I got kicked off Twitter just now. What? Thought the bird was set free. Guess all that was just bull talk. Wow, really? Maybe the maybe it's the algorithm doing it. I mean, I was I was locked up for four months. I know how it feels. It doesn't feel good. I felt so naked without my Twitter. Twitter's my favorite social media. And to think I hated it for years. It looks like we got fireworks. Oh. I hear a movement out there and I see little flashes. Don't think much has changed at Twitter yet, besides firings. Yeah. They probably they probably still have the algo going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ratch Max is still in the chat. <laughs> he caught the Marion comment. Oh, Marion, you're not going to be able to live, live that one down. How many hex for and for a and Flix prescription? How many hex for a Netflix subscription? I don't know. I don't even know what we pay. Man, we've got so many. We've got. I know I, I hate to say it, but we got Disney Plus it's because I'm a Star Wars addict. I love all the Star Wars shows. Uh, my kid likes, like, last night we watched Monster Inc. again. Um, got Star for the sports uh, because I, got, I watch, like to watch NFL. The, 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 they have, like, Sports Center and stuff on there. I know it's not ESPN, but I get to watch the, uh, like, the highlights. Uh, I got Prime just because I'm, I got Prime on Amazon, so I automatically get that one. Um, we don't have HBO though, the HBO Plus, whatever it's called. Who knows? I don't watch a lot of TV, guys. I'm a, I watch YouTube. If I have to watch something, I watch it YouTube. Yeah, I wish I, that that would be so cool to be with you guys right now. Thank you, RH Max. I went to uh, Ethereum. I think I showed you guys the other day. I went to an uh, Ethereum event, and I was shilling hex ETH. That Panama three, that's for Web three, and um, man, I'm so I'm so proud of Panama where we're going. Yeah, you guys definitely had astronauts show up and everything. <laughs> we recreated the Prada video, incidentally. <laughs> nice. I I actually took that one, edited it, and reloaded it to uh, TikTok. Did you guys see one of my one of my TikTok videos? It it's about Panama. It just hit two hundred and fifty thousand views. It went pretty viral. And that one video, I added like 2,000 new subscribers to my or followers, you want to, wherever you want to call them on TikTok. I told my wife, I said, I'm not going to be a one-trick pony. I'm not just going to talk about crypto. If I want to grow my TikTok channel and grow my YouTube channel, I need to talk about other subjects too. I love crypto, but we're in a bear market. And when you're in a bear market, it's not a recipe for growth. One Randy Hilarski documentary. <laughs> you guys get it every day. You guys get everything for free from me. It's just I'm I'm just an open book. I just tell you what it is. One thing I'm, I got to be careful with though is talking about numbers. I, sometimes I I I forget that this is broadcast to the world, and I say things that I shouldn't say. And um, I got somebody messaged me the other day, Randy. Man, be careful what you say. They're right. I need to be careful. You guys need to be careful. I mean, if someone tried to come and rob me, good luck. What you gonna rob? But I don't have shit, man. I don't have shit that's physical that you're going to rob me. But, you know, I know there's people out there. You got to be careful. I love crypto in that way. Everything's locked up. It's gone. Can't touch it. Bye-bye. When it comes out, where does the new people go to buy it? Jason, what are you talking about? Pulse Chain? If you're talking about Pulse Chain, you have to wait until uh, we have a bridge. So once it launches, you'll be able to have Ethereum using your Coinbase wallet and just uh, import 
that way. I think that we're also going to have the, t- the team at Coast is uh, going to make it possible for you to buy directly and go straight into PulseX or something. Like they're going to have a way for you to buy Pulse Chain and Hex and things like that just with your credit card. And that's coming. They, they've been working on it for a while. And Richard, I know, wants to do it too. Crypto rich back to work. Bit, crypto rich to back to work. Bitch. <laughs> Luke Duke. <laughs> you got a plate of cheese and a bottle of wine right now. 2024, they can hit another documentary about Pulse Chain, RH being the richest man in the world. CZ was on Forbes for having made 90 billion. Did you see CZ? He got that. He made that little comment below the video where uh, Little Bubble made and saying that, oh, I'm part of this video too because uh, Little Bubble has a picture of CZ in the background. And uh, so that just that just tells you CZ knows exactly what's going on with Hex and Pulse Chain. He ain't stupid. He sees it all. He sees everything. CZ is paying attention. You're also earning Hex and Pulse Chain. Yeah, it hasn't even happened yet. ETH POW, Ethereum Fair, Pulse Chain. <laughs> Cha-ching. Cha-ching. That, that ETH POW, ETH Fair was a very nice airdrop. Even if it just trends up to the right a tad bit, and maybe we only get uh, 100x in the next two years on those, it's still going to be a huge payout. And it was free money, guys. Absolutely free. And Ethereum proof of work is not going anywhere. It's going to stick around. I got wrecked on Pulse Floki, so I get PP for free. <laughs> oh, Pulse Floki. The Sunshine Protection Act bill was unanimously approved in the U.S. Senate and would take effect in November 2023 if signed by POTUS. It ends the time changes. Ah, man, let's hope so. Because it messes up my Google Calendar. You know how many times I've had a meeting and I show up too early to the meeting or I showed up too late to the meeting? I'm like, oh, sorry, guys. My Google Calendar is messed up again. It's such a big headache. What's up? I got the hex you need, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason sounds like a crack dealer. Love how the building in the background is pink. So cute. Oxcolette, thank you. That's uh, Right now it's because of Breast Cancer, Aware- Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's been This is the third different color we've had. And pretty soon, tomorrow is November, no, Tuesday's November 1st, so it'll change to, um, is Fiestas Patrias. It's the month where we celebrate Panama going independent and all that, so it'll be red, white, and blue on starting on November 1st. Hey, y'all, can we claim PP yet? <laughs> Man, you guys are obsessed with PP. All right, let me, let me, let me pull it up, see what's anything new on the four... see we'll go over the poor plab again really quick all right so poor pleb nope doesn't look it's not announced it's not ready yet but they keep they keep tweeting it out the zero utility erc20 meme coin on the ethereum network poor plebs will be able to claim a free airdrop whales will get nothing yep i know this experiment designed to enrich the many and exclude the few if you are a small player in shib cult PLS, Floki, Pulse Doge, and many more, you'll be eligible to free claim. And when it says Pulse Doge, that's the real Pulse Doge, the original. All right, so these are all the coins that if you held, you can get a free claim. And that goes back to July 22nd. But, you know, I have I have this one, but not a thousand bucks worth. <laughs> I've got this one, but not a thousand bucks worth. I may qualify because of this one, but I, I did sell my coins. And obviously I have this one, this one. Hey, I might get a free claim. We'll see. Maybe I had a little bit of Hedron liquid at that time. Oh, and I had uh, I had uh, more tokens as well. But I don't know if I qualify for that. So that's, that's how you get it. And here's the sacrifices. If you sacrificed for any of these and you did less than a thousand bucks, you uh, can qualify. I did this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one, but I didn't do hurry cash. Thank, thank goodness I didn't because of the tornado cash situation. It's just a fork of tornado cash and internet money. I missed this one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys can get your free coins, it's always nice to get free coins. Just let them sit, let them marinate. 
You know, I kind of wish I would have kept my Pulse Dogecoin just so I could sell them at a higher price. But hey, I got Hedron with it, and Hedron did very well, so can't really complain. Hex Monkey, yep, sure was. Do you know of a video guide to help secure your MetaMask PLS PLS sacrifice onto Ledger wallet to be ready for the launch? Yeah, there's Rob. There's out. There's videos out there. I haven't I haven't needed one because I, I don't use Ledger, but you can go, you know, check it out. There's videos out there to help you with that. Good crew up there. I need to visit y'all soon. Yeah. It's funny how so many people are up in the Northeast. I mean, sorry, Northwest. I'm missing out, Hex Monkey. Hopefully next time I can go. C is the number one secret Hex hater. Hey, maybe he's the God Whale. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit if CZ ends up being the God Whale? Oh, God. Yeah, he's he's been sued. Hearts, maybe. Yeah. And barbecue whiskey that I mix with my zeolite. Oh, God, Luke Duke. <laughs> really? How long after launch, launch do you think it'll be for us to have a bridge? I asked in the polls telegram. They said probably a week. Yeah, I heard a week. Originally, I heard a month, then I heard two weeks, and now they're saying a week. That first week, though, it's going to be mayhem. Oh, my God. It's going to be so much fun to watch. We're going to be, I'm just going to be sitting there looking at my phone, looking at my deck screener. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. We had a $50,000 day. I look forward to those days again. That's how it is in the bear or the bull market, right? Like, oh man, I just got a $50,000 airdrop. Yeah. I, I hope that. So you guys all get those experiences because if you've been in crypto for a while, you get those kind of things. Whether it was Bitcoin cash back in the day in 2017, or it's going to be poor pleb in the future. Who knows? If I close a stake on ETH, will it close all on all the ETH networks? No. You have to do it separately, Hex got Kirtle. Got to do it separately. So you're going to have to get some ETH POW over there. But if you already had some Ethereum in your wallets prior to the fork or prior to the ETH 2.0 launch, you automatically have some Ethereum POW and Ethereum fare. You won't need much. Cost fractions of a penny to transact over there and to unstake and stake and all that kind of stuff. So don't forget to mint your Hedron first on all the networks before you mint your hex on all the networks. Don't be like Randy. Don't waste like 80 bucks worth of Hedron. It's not cool. Watch it from Adelaide Hills, Australia. I'm ready to. Dave down under. Nice. Just check your shoes before you put them on. <laughs> Close your Hedron and all the other stuff before, before ending your hex stake. There you go. Ion Lies 369 is on top of it. You gotta check, you gotta mint your stuff. That's why I use Icosa now. Use the Icosa Pro website because it'll tell you that you haven't minted your, your hedron. Are you sure you, or it says something like, here's how much hedron you have available. So you know how much you have available for you before you mint it. PP drop is only worth $15 in sack terms. It's free money, man. Free money. Okay. $15 now, what if it does 100x in the next two weeks? That's 1500 That's how crypto works. Will Exodus Wallet be okay for PP claim? I don't see why not, Soldier Pete. I don't use Exodus Wallet, but I'm sure it's going to work. Internet money is having a second sacrifice. Really? Why? Just wait until Pulse Chain launches. Jeez. Are you messing with ETHW ETH Fair? I sure am. I am doing... I, I took all my hex, turned it into um, HSIs, tokenized the HSIs, turned them into um, the NFTs, sold them to the ICOSA contract, got my ICOSA, and then staked all my ICOSA over on Ethereum, Ethereum Fair and Ethereum POW because nobody's doing it. Very few people are doing it. So I, if if this has ever become something in the future, I'm ready. I'm prepared. It looks like the claim is on Halloween day, so you might have to choose between claiming PP or claiming candy from your neighbors. <laughs> Just don't get confused and go claim PP from your neighbors. <laughs> Stas, that, that would be a good idea. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Halo Quail. Hi, Mr. Squidworth. This is Air Force Rescue Dog, son. <laughs> I want to let you know my family's life has changed ever since you helped me out learning crypto and jumping into Hex together at the beginning. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Now stop jumping out of aircraft. 
bridge in 48 hours. What? What? Come on. Give it a week. Let's do it without a bridge. Hi, Randy. You think markets will go down on Blood Moon? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. I think it's going to be after the election, though. I think liquidity, they're going to do a rug pull on us the day after the election. I got the cheaper brand of Zeolite on Amazon a week ago, and the only thing I've noticed so far is a laxative effect. Hey, your body's clearing out, Victory. Your body's clearing out. <laughs> it was the cheaper brand. Mary, Aaron's like, oh, I want the laxative effect. It was a smaller tub for like $25 and much less reviews. Everyone make sure you claim for decentralized X. What's that, Akla? It Decentralized X. Let me write that down. Decentralized. Is it worth anything? Decentralized X. Okay, cool. I love airdrops. Don't go cheap when it comes to supplements. Huge difference in quality over there. Yep, out there. Sure is. I'm taking so much stuff. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Love it, though. I'm feeling so good. My blood pressure is like it, the best it's been in like five years. I don't have any kidney issues anymore. I, I mean, I really went all in on this. Now I get the next step is I really got to start losing the weight and, you know, just, I don't know, exercising more, those kind of things. I do exercise, but just not enough. You can't do that if the stakes are on the staker. Yeah, Ebonics lover, that sucks. Hopefully it will be soon. I, I I heard Steph say that in the future version, there's a lot of things you're going to be able to do directly within your staker app, including like he wants to work with Alex to have Hedron claimable right within the in the wallet. <laughs> Might have one wallet for PP. Otherwise, no PP for me. <laughs> Bright light crypto. You know, you know what's funny though? I'm not worried about YouTube taking this, taking this down because we're talking about PP. You talk about other things that are controversial in their opinion, they'll they'll take your channel down. But we can talk about PP all night. Hey fam, so happy you got the live. You the man, Randy. All hail King Richard. <laughs> Life changer. Cool. I don't know the results. Hopefully, I'll get more Z's and vivid dreams. Man, those dreams. I love it. I love the dreams. <laughs> Marry it. Zero Z later don't collapse. That's the question. And the other thing people don't realize is it's like how how full of crap is your not, not crap is in poop, but how how full of like heavy metals and stuff are you, you know? Do you not use a filter in your water? Um, do you do you use deodorant that has aluminum in it? Are you using a lot of products on your skin that have stuff that's, you know, especially if you're wearing makeup for the ladies, got to be careful of that makeup. You know, you're really putting some crazy shit on your bodies. My wife and I actually got into a fight about it a couple weeks ago. I'm like, babe, I'm like, stop buying cheap makeup. You got money. Go Go buy good stuff. And even the good stuff is sketchy, right? But she goes to these these cheap places and picks up some just because it's cool, right? And it's got glitter or something. She'll pick it up and then she'll put it on her skin. I'm like, babe, you have no idea what's in that. That comes straight from China. You have no idea. I said, could you be careful? And got into a fight about it. I'm like, you tell me what to not eat and be careful with that. I'm just worried about you too, you know, as far as health. And there's a reason why your skin's your second largest. I mean, it's your largest organ. So be careful what you put on your skin. Your body absorbs it. That's why we don't use deodorant with aluminum in it. And almost all commercial deodorants have it. There's so many other things you can do. Ooh, someone just hit the brakes hard. And they didn't have ABS because that thing that locked up. Will the centralized Coinbase wallet be copied on Pulse Chain side? Edward M., I doubt it. I doubt it. They have to add the network and um, make it functional. I know, you know, MetaMask will and a couple other wallets, but I'm not sure about Coinbase. I never used it. Being that used to be the king of selling cars, next time you need a non-crypto stream, teach us how to beat the man. <laughs> um, I am, 
I'm working with the guys at Carnomaly, and we're going to have a stream starting soon. They're probably the weekly or biweekly. In my first show, I'm interviewing the NASCAR driver from for, for Carnomaly. So that's really cool. And they're... And their app is launching. They're waiting for approval from uh, Google right now. And it'll be launched this week. So you'll be able to buy, trade, sell, get quotes, um, see car histories, everything within the app. And everything will be done on the blockchain. So I'm just saying. uh, I won't talk too much about Carnomaly on my nighttime stream, but we'll have a daytime show for that. Here I talk about crypto, talk about having fun, talk about some gold and silver. Telling you guys, watch Gold and Silver. That's just going to be doing some cool things pretty soon, I think. Decentralized X is still on testnet. Okay. Okay, I'll go that. Can you do an account where the phone would tower bank where you have to be in person? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, it's Panama. I'm sure you have to be in person. I'm pretty sure. What does the Elite do? Cure all? No, Steven, it's a... It goes into your your intestines, your stomach, and it pulls out heavy metals. So all kinds of heavy metals that are in your system, it'll help pull them out. It also helps kill off bacteria, bad bacteria, and um, if you have any parasites and those kind of things, it'll work on those too. But there's better things for parasites, and we did that. I did a whole show on that a couple weeks back about different things you could take, um, and zeolite was one of the ones I talked about. So. <clears throat> Check it out. You have to claim Gnosis Safe airdrop. Yep, that's another one. Gnosis Safe. I never did that one just because I lost my keys to my staker app. Shit, don't, don't, don't throw rocks at me. We're in a desperate situation when we were in Mexico. And when they told us we couldn't stay any longer, we had to fly back to Acapulco really quick, throw stuff in boxes. And go back to Mexico City two days later to fly out of the country. And somehow I misplaced my keys for my staker app. And I only had one stake on there. It was 20,000 hex and it was a 15 year stake. Uh, so bummer about that. But it's, I mean, the phone that it's on, the staker app, it's, it still works. And hopefully in a couple of years, I'll still be able to access this phone. And <laughs> maybe it'll be something. Maybe, maybe it'll be worth something. Maybe it won't. But, you know. It happens to the best of us, guys. I'm not the only one that makes mistakes in crypto, but I've lost a lot of money. George Jobs, hey, Randy, great to see you're a Dr. Berg fan. I have a bit of a story to tell on the health front, but we'll try to keep it as brief as possible. I had a crazy 12 months. I'm from the UK, but got stuck in Melbourne, the most locked down city in the world. I'm a day one hexagon, so that kept me smiling through the lockdown. Damn straight. Sorry that you were in Melbourne. How the hell did you get stuck in Melbourne? And sorry for any of the Australians out there, but you guys went full on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Seriously. Staker app version two is going to have the ability to pay and get and stake gas from the stake yield to pretty cool secret agent. That's awesome. So if you guys don't know, that means when the Ethereum price goes crazy expensive in the coming years, You'll be able to unstake there on Staker app, and the fees will come out of your stake rather than. So really, what they're doing Staker app is, is like letting you borrow the money to unstake, then they just take it when the stake ends. Uh, Hexmerch, hexmerch.com, h-e-x-m-e-r-c-h.com, Aquaman. If you have Staker app, it's the same thing. Gnosis rebranded is safe. However, I had pneumonia in October, CV negative, and also, although unjuiced, then had a stroke. And wow, a stroke, George Chops. I was very lucky. My girlfriend called me and got an ambulance as I couldn't remember my phone number. Wow. How long do you need to be on Zelite to clear out? Oh, I take it every day. But, you know, they say do it for like two months, a month to two months, and you should be, that should be good. And then you take it again like a couple months later. You just don't want to stay on it forever. What do you think about Elon? Pumping dog coin again to 13 cents, kind of weak. Last SNL pump was the 70 cents. Yeah, but we're in a bear market. So, bear market, your pumps are going to be weaker. So, you forgot your pin number. Oxclet, I know, but this trash, man. Ugh, it's got so much garbage in it. And you have no idea who 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 did that stuff and who who formulated it and what chemicals they're using. 
buy a juicer and go green leafy big time. Uh, we are probably going to put behind here. I have about six feet and we're going to put up some racks and start growing um, um, greens like the baby, the baby ones. I got a whole bunch of broccoli seeds. We're just going to grow the little broccoli sprouts and then cut them and then you put them in a drink and eat them. They're like the, as far as health, they have the most amount of stuff in them that any other baby plant, the broccoli ones. I couldn't remember my phone pin number to call someone or talk properly. Yeah, that's what happens with strokes, brother. I then had a heart failure in December. Medics came out and did the V for a heart reboot, and then I went back to the hospital. For... What the hell, George? Then again, heart failure in January. Same thing, another reboot. But the doctor this time noticed a different electrical pattern in the ECG. I was then hooked. If you don't mind me asking, were you juiced? I, I know it's even, you can answer. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. But did you did you get the did you get the juice? While in hospital for the heart operation, I tested positive for CV, though I had no symptoms. So they wheeled the other patient out the ward and put a red sticker on the window. Are you kidding me? Two nurses later turned up in hazmat suits and wheeled me to that is fucking nuts. In the lion's den, I told the doctors I was unjuiced. Okay, there you go. So they wanted to give me a post-CV juice called so Sotrovimab. I never heard of that one. I declined it, and they kept asking me on a daily basis if I wanted it, and I kept declining. They asked why, and I said, because I have no symptoms. It was on enough medication for my heart. Yeah, exactly. I was in there for a week, had the op, and relieved to be out and alive and kicking. Two odd things to mention. A CV bus was supposed to take me home, but never turned up as it was past 5 p.m. <laughs> as my dedicated ICU nurse had to come home early as his girlfriend testified. <laughs> Jeez, are you kidding me? Yeah, everything is It was so ridiculous. I had never been so wealthy and unhealthy. Health is obviously way more important than wealth. Working your health is in the bear market. Maybe call it a Berg market. Yeah, Dr. Berg is fabulous. So, guys, health is way more important. You know, I've I've been wealthy now for a couple of years uh, since I would say 2017. 2016 was the beginning, but been wealthy ever since then uh, compared to everyone I know, right? But... And I had the health scare in Mexico with my kidneys. You know, I, I didn't care about my wealth anymore. I didn't, I, I, I was still involved with hex and everything, but I would much prefer having my health because I know I can get the wealth back. You know, I'm pretty good with this stuff now. So, yeah, go for your health. Health is way more important. ZK Sync are supposed to be launching airdrops soon. So, check these out, those out too. Really? But I already got an airdrop from them once. Wait, no, it was something else that was, had to do with ZK Sync. It was a Chinese company. My God, another one. Ask Kalei, you're just paying. You're paying attention. You're getting, you're getting that money, money. ZK Sync. And pay attention to Cult Dow too, guys. I don't know what's going to happen with Cult Dow, but I know that they're building a layer two on top of Ethereum. That's going to have some privacy features so you can transact privately. Love that. And um, it's needed. We need that in the crypto space, especially in the Ethereum community. We don't have, besides uh, Trader Cash, we don't have any many ways to transact privately. You know, lost my keys to one, two. I have the phone, but it doesn't work now. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's why I just leave the phone off. I don't even use it. ZLA made him forget Metallica and <laughs> remove the heavy metal. <laughs> oh, God. I used to be a huge Metallica fan. Sucks, rookie mistake, love, but I still have access to my phone. Yeah. I'm in Geelong next to Melbourne. Our entire state lost the plot completely during COVID. You guys were the laughing stock of the world. It really was. I mean, I thought we were bad here, and I escaped here. The day after the airport opened, we went to Mexico. We were in Mexico for seven months. Um, overstayed our visa. It only cost me like between all three of us overstaying our visas. It cost us like a hundred bucks. Um, <clears throat> but we had to escape. But I can't imagine what you guys dealt with. And now what I see what's happening in China, then now that's turning into the laughing stock of the world. No, my mom, my mom has one though, and she's doing great with a dehydrator. Yeah, well, then you had something else going on, George. Well, 
Thankfully, you're not, though, because you probably wouldn't be here today. What I'm seeing is that if you did get it, if you do have some issues, whether it be an autoimmune disorder or you have heart issues, those kind of things, it just exasperate, exacerbates it. So if you have anything, it just makes it worse, right? It's really sad that that's how it's working out, but there's a reason why death rates are up huge this year, and it's not because of the unvaxxed. It's a, it's a death. It's a, it's a problem for people that got vaxxed. Exactly. Well done. Question. Now that ETH 2.0 is what's being forked, doesn't that render the previous test nets void? Yeah, it does pretty much. Absolutely. That's why we need a version three before we launch. If you message admin on Staker, they make the 24 hour seed phrase available on your device. Steph did it for me. Seed phrase option inside the Staker app became available to view. Ah, okay. Dap FOMO. Thank you. I will check into that. Nate Stakes, having a chill night, just enjoying you guys' company. It's Sunday night. I just had a great day. Went to the mall, and they had a big old thing for the kids at the mall. My kid dressed up like Steve from Minecraft. Had a good old time. <clears throat> yeah, I did I did my Texas token as well. Broccoli sprouts are the goat. Super high-end sulforaphane, precursor to glutathione, your body's master antioxidant. Get involved. Yep. See, <clears throat> I have green thumbs. I come from a family with green thumbs. And... Uh, meaning that we're really good at growing. You know, my family were farmers, raised cows and all kind of stuff. It was before my time, my my grandma's generation. Then my mom, they moved to the city, but my mom never lost it. You know, she still cans. She, like, she has a dehydrator. She's got a bunch of food. She could last probably for a couple of years in her house um, and with her garden and all that. So um, the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. I'm actually really good with that stuff. So I've got all my lighting. I've got all my seeds. I've got all my pots and everything. Now we just have to plant and, and get it going. That's a good education for my kiddo. You know, my kid's homeschooled, so teach him how to grow plants is pretty important. <laughs> yeah, when I was when I was younger, I did. Probably in my 20s, I liked Metallica. But I was late to Metallica. A lot of my friends started early. I was more into the, you know, you're talking late 80s, and I was in high school and I graduated in 92, so yeah, I was into like you know the Bon Jovi's, the Def Leppards, that kind of stuff. Zinke Sink Across are supposed to be launching airdrop soon, so check those out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I totally meant to bring that up. RIP Brazil. So Brazil had a pretty good president. He really cared for the people. I uh, Bolsonaro. I really supported him. <clears throat> during the lockdowns and during the when the world's going crazy, he was like, look, I'm not going to force our people to do anything that I am not, I'm not, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I, I wanted to say a name, but I, I don't want to get banned from YouTube. Um, I'm not a dictator. He told people, he said, look, you choose whether you want to get the juice. I'm not going to lock you down, you know? It's not, I am, it's not my power as the president of Brazil to do this to you. And he goes, if anyone forces you to do anything, you should fight back. And he, and he told that his people, this is the president of Brazil. He told this to his people. And so the whole pandemic, he was fighting his, his um, like governors of the different states. Because some governors wanted to be strict. Some governors wanted to be lenient. But he, the strict ones still wanted to impose all these rules. And he was like, no, you cannot impose these rules on our people. So I, I'm going to miss Bolsonaro. They hired this new guy that got voted in tonight. He's been to prison. Everyone knows he's corrupt. It's really sad. I don't know. RIP Brazil. The premier of Victoria, Australia is an absolute bark. <laughs> yeah, you think? Everyone is worried about crypto hacking wallets. And I believe it's super important. Nevertheless, if you stake all your hacks, why would you need to protect your wallet? I don't have anything in my wallet. Exactly. That's the best part about it. Because most of these hackers, when they hack into stuff, they, they're not even going to notice that the hex is there. Especially if you made transactions afterwards, because it'll be so buried, they won't even notice. They're in such a hurry all the time. Hackers are so, they're just as clueless as us. They're just trying to get money. And 
in order to unstake something, they have to get Ethereum. And if your wallet doesn't have Ethereum in it, what are they going to do? Are they going to import $500 worth of Ethereum so they can unstake everything? And it, because your stakes are 10 years, they're going to nuke all the stakes? No, they're not going to do it. 90% of the time, they're not going to do it. Thank you, Marion. I tagged you yesterday in the Korea Halloween thing, Randy. Yeah. How I made that was very sad. I think it was a traditional stampede where people just ran over each other. Really sad. People got knocked, you know, the little folks got knocked over by the big folks and then they couldn't breathe. And yeah, very sad. Here, let's do the charts really quick before we lose that. Um, okay, Bitcoin on the monthly. Still a red. We, we, we are not in a bull market yet. We haven't turned the corner because that's still red. Um, still looking good on the, the fear and greed down here. The DI is heading back towards zero. But I, I don't know, guys. I think after, I think after the um, elections, we're going to have a little bit of a rough time again. Here's on the daily. They just, Bitcoin just went red on the daily. Um, the DI looks really good. The fear, look at the fear and greed. It's looking, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Let's go zoom on. So last time we had anything like this was back in July. When everyone thought was thinking that the market was, the bear market was over again, but it wasn't. Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum on the weekly, we do have a green. So we're in the third week of green. DI looks good. AI looks good. This is the artificial intelligence to let you guys know. Just uh, it works better on shorter terms. So daily, four hour, those kind of things. That's what this one's best for. It's called the BGMC confidence. And it's artificial intelligence. DI is the demand index. It just pretty much tracks, you know, how much action is happening. DI is looking really good. And the fear and greed is looking good too. I mean, look at it. We're, we're definitely lightening up lightning up that means we're getting close to the bottom if we're not already there the daily oh, like like bitcoin ethereum is following bitcoin we got a sell indicator but the demand index looks good ai looks good fear and greed is looking better hex this is on the weekly ai looks good di is looking okay just got to get above that red line and here we're still looking good. Now, if we can get an announcement for Pulse Chain version 3 this week, get ready for a run. Look at that. Wow. That's a great week, guys. Good job, everybody. Good job, uh, God Whale. <laughs> Everything's looking good. Now, Hedron. Hedron, surprise. I thought Hedron was going to do better than this, running into the... The uh, auction's coming up, but I think uh, Hex took a lot of the attention off of Hedron, which is normal because the community is so small. Um, AI is still looking good. The Man Index is looking good. Um, but we're, not, we're fine. We're at 5036987, but I think we're going to have a nice run up here. So Monday, so Tuesday is the 1st of November, and that'll be the countdown the like 13 day countdown until the first big auctions come out go to the daily this is not going to be as pretty see got to sell on the daily one two three four five six days back the ai is just dropping and the di is below zero so if you go to the daily it looks pretty negative but like once i'll say this again the ai does not know about the buy the rumor sell the news event that we're about to have all right so that's that. That's the charts. I too dressed up for Halloween tonight. My Sasquatch ball cap, Carhartt t shirt, and trusty old Hirachi sandals from 66. <laughs> you got a pair of sandals from 66, Bob? Seriously? Yep, I had heart AFib for a couple of years before. My cardiologist kept trying to get me juiced. It probably would have killed me. I'm not just waiting for an ab ablation to fix electrical faults. Thank you, George. Pour some sugar on me. Yeah, great movie or a great song. Privacy is a great topic. Topic: Atomic Wallet, Atomic Swap to Digibyte tokens into Digibyte Core Wallet and back out to new Atomic Wallet. 
atomic swap to your favorite tokens. Shui. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Has it? He's installed from WF. How I made it. God dang. I have. I mean, I, my wife just told me like an hour before we started about the how Bolsonaro lost. Yeah. How these freaking WEF people? They're just taking over. Hey Tony, ex pro athlete. All the supplements are all really good, but don't you all fool yourself? If you did not exercise the last twenty years or in your youth, you need to exercise. Not supplements, yeah. <laughs> And you got the guys like me who were the first 20, you know, up up to by about 32, I was a health freak. You know, I was always, always working out, always, always, whether it was in the military or I was, you know, going to the gym. So my wife says, oh, you really need to take care. I was like, look, if I go back to the gym, it's like, it's easy for me to get back into shape. I just don't, I just, there's just nothing in me that wants to go lift again. I'm just not interested, but. I know I need to do the aerobic stuff and just walk and those kind of things. Wouldn't you think people could have just climbed out and walked over each other for space? No, not in paranoia. Not, not when people not paranoia. Not when people are scared. When people are scared, they do stupid shit. The best thing you could do when everyone's running for their life is to stay in your seat. Seriously, because people will run each other over. Um, we've seen in soccer matches over and over and over again. When people get scared, they push each other up against the fences and people suffocate and die. If you got someone my weight, you know, 300 pounds pushing you and you weigh 120 and I'm up, I'm, we're sandwiched and I'm compressing your chest, you're not going to last long. Then you got like 10 other people behind me pushing my weight. Now you got like a ton on your chest. You, you can't survive. Look, anacondas, that's how they kill people. They suffocate you. It's no difference. Documentary, I would say, before Pulse Chain. How do you think Pulse Chain will play out in the next two years? Your take? Ascension, love, heart, light. Welcome to this. Welcome to my show. Um, Pulse Chain, first two years. It'll be very similar. Richard Hart wants to dominate. He wants to own this space, but own this space not in the not in a centralized way, like uh, Sam Bankman Freed wants to. He wants to own the space as far as his reputation. So. I believe that Richard will do everything he can in his power using his, his persona to help push us to a couple thousand X, maybe 2,000, 3,000 X in the first two years, just like you did the hex. Hex went 10,000 X at the bottom. So I'm hoping that happens. Look out for the Died Suddenly movie documentary coming out in November. Trailer is nice. Are you being serious how I made? Or is that a died suddenly like a, a privately a, one that wasn't made by the powers that be? It was a privately made. Os Thai combo. Amen, brother. Clintrones. Yeah, Clintrones is awesome. There are rumors that the U.S. government is going to back the dollar with BTC. Rumor, Aquaman, I don't think so. But hey, anything could happen. I believe they'll go back to gold and silver first. And if you bring your iPhone to your exercise, you can stay at home. You need to go Rocky Balboa style. <laughs> Run up the steps. <laughs> I had F fib issues and eventually discovered my thyroid was massively underperforming. Been on a med for 16 years and okay now. Like someone's got straight pipes. So if you want to check to see if you're iodine deficient, take some regular iodine, put some underneath your arm, and you will know within 24 hours whether you are iodine deficient because if you are your body will absorb it if you are not deficient then the mark the red will stay there forever <coughs> i learned that from dr bird too i had five fish okay <clears throat> 72 way to go bob i mean i saw a video that helped make sense of how they died at the end of an alley people at the end they had fallen, had others who fell on top of them, and everyone else behind couldn't move. Yeah. Victory is so sad. Yep. They all got squeezed. Randy, I got plus 1,000 drip now in my faucet, making me 50 USD every day. <clears throat> drip as in the token, the crypto drip. Cool. Yep. I, I, 
I earn enough hedron every month. If I wanted to just live off my hedron, I could. But my wife and I discussed the bear market. And we said this bear market was going to be different. We were not going to use our crypto. <clears throat> we're going to find other ways to generate income. And uh, stay away from our crypto, this bull. Because frankly, guys, how how you get really, 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 really rich in crypto is if you're you don't touch your crypto on the bear and you're adding, you're DCAing the whole time during the bear. And then all of a sudden it turns around and it goes up and you get a couple hundred X's. That's how you get rich. There's always chocolate around when you're a dad. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Another thing, apple cider vinegar, guys. Diluted with water, of course. First UK, now Brazil. Personally, I guess the last gasps of a dying system. They absolutely desperately try to keep their ways alive, but no chance. Light comes in. We'll wipe away all bad shit. That's right, Robin. You looked at Dr. Berg's video for thyroid. There you go. That's the one I learned about how, how I learned about the, uh, the uh, iodine. Exile degen. Thank you. Okay, cool. The documentary you're talking about? Sure, Paul. My favorite supplements are M uh, MMS, chlorine dioxide, and microdose mushrooms, but we'll try zeolite. Yep. I have the uh, the mushroom powder with the lion's mane and a couple others. I throw it out my eggs in the morning. It, the problem is the it's kind of intense, the flavor. But another thing is eat eggs every day. It's it could be another reason why I'm feeling so good. I get the uh, what's it called the eggs the, um, where the chickens are totally free. Here in Panama, it's pretty easy to to get all natural food. So pasture raised eggs. There you go. Hey, they went back the dollar with BDC, especially in a bear market. Who knows people don't realize how big stress is here. Yeah, I don't have any stress. My biggest stress is my kid and my wife, but that's normal. Randy, would you continue to DCA now or go higher for the next six months to cancel all your credit debit card? I got no problem with debit credit cards that's, or credit cards. I say leverage. Some people say, oh, I'll pay off your credit cards. I don't have a ton anyways. I mean, I, I think I owe personally, we own just a couple grand. Um, we don't have any other debts. Trucks paid off. We just we rent, and uh, I don't know. I would. This is a bear market. Bear markets where you get wealthy, guys. If you're putting money in into the credit right now instead of into the markets, I'm not giving any financial advice for that. But if it was me, screw the man. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be looking at your future. Squidworth, my little boy, almost 26 now, pinged you as Halo Quail. <laughs> I spent time explaining battle buddies and selfless service and being of service when able. You came up as an example. Thank you, brother. Snoop Dougie Doug. Doug is a Air Force veteran. Do you want to be able to understand what the hell he's talking about there? <laughs> he calls me Squidworth because I was in the Navy. And Navy, Navy guys are called Squid. Yolo Paul. Is, is it easy to get these medicinal mushrooms there? Monix lover, you can, yeah, they're easy to get here, but you can also get them, uh, order them online. Uh, geez, I can't remember the name of the company, but you can look it up. I just had them sent straight to my uh, freight forwarding address, and they they came here to Panama. So, if for example, if you live here, you got to use a MBE mailbox, etc., and everything gets through. But if you use some of the other ones, they get stopped. I don't know why, especially vitamins and stuff but ever since i switched to mbe about five years ago i haven't had one thing stopped about three billion hedron waiting for more dca if we can back it down yeah yeah hedron's the play right now and then after the auctions end there's going to be so much the supply is going to be just destroyed it could be cut as much as like 50 percent Let's go Pulse Chain 1.0. Bill, Bill Gates didn't release a perfect Windows decades ago. We don't need a perfect Pulse Chain either. Simba, I agree with you. I agree. But we still, you know, let, let's version 3 come out for a week or two just so people don't say, oh, we rushed it to the market. 
right? Do you follow Dr. McCullough or Dr. Mark Hyman at all? I used to follow Dr. McCullough. I watched two. It's because of him that I found guys like Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg is the triathlete. Dr. Eric Berg is the chiropractor. And they're both great. Absolutely great. You'll learn a ton from them. And there's another doctor too, but I can't remember his name. My first time checking out your stream. Sam Hex and SB, welcome. We just shit, we just shoot the shit here. And we talk about health. We talk about gold and silver. We talk about crypto. Um, like if you need gold and silver, go check out my boy Can Bullion. Links below for you guys in the US and Canada. He'll send it directly to your house. And watch the stream I did with him. I do have another gold and silver shoe com uh, show coming up on Wednesday. I think it's 11 a.m. Right? Remember correctly? With my former partner, Mike Brown. He runs the vault here in Panama. And he's got, you need to know anything about gold and silver? He's the guy, he'll tell you about finding fake gold and silver, being careful. He's going to really get into it. And uh, he's got, he's ex uh, South African Special Forces. So he's got lots of cool stories. <laughs> He used to just amaze me with the cool stories he had. I was asking if you can get them in Panama. Yeah, Ivan Slover sure can. I I buy them at um ah, I can't remember the store. But there is a store here that you can buy them. It's it's over by the Panama Clinic. It's the next entrance past the Panama Clinic. That's where you can buy it. It's a little health food store. So what phase will there be a big sale off, sell off of Hedron right before or after HSI auction? Joseph, I really don't know now. I was th I was thinking we were going to have a nice run up until the auctions, um, but we're two weeks away as of right now, and we're not seeing that big run. Maybe the big run will happen a couple of days before, uh, but then with the the cut of all that, all the Hedron being burned off the market, it could change the dynamic and keep the price stable. Aus Aussies love to call me out as living in a police state, and I laugh and laugh. <laughs> One of them supporting 100% gun restriction with sporting use by strict permit only lists his ideology as libertarian. Yeah, he's not a libertarian. <laughs> if someone says that, they're not a libertarian. I'm in hectic financial times, and polls ever coming. I want to pull a little of my investment. TDM10, I, I totally understand there's so many people in this situation, and there's so many people on the other side who want to pick some up. So we need guys like you to help provide the liquidity. So Yes, I'm hoping that we get it soon. I'm hoping that we get a nice Christmas gift. Hearing DuckDuckGo could be in the hands of Bill Gates. Yes, Pearl. I heard Microsoft purchased DuckDuckGo, so you won't be able to trust it soon. Icosis is making up for my hex losses. Absolutely. And, and my what's up stakes? My what's up stakes are paying very well, too. Great stream as usual. Thanks, Randy. Billy Boy, I appreciate you. I appreciate you showing up. Nardo's here. Nardo for the win. Good, good to see you, sir. Randy, do you like ASIC, the Pulse Bitcoin Miner token? No. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I don't like the team. Hex.info is a dick, and he knows he's a dick. So I don't want to do anything that has anything to do with those guys, period. So when someone rubs me the wrong way, I just tune you out. So I've got him muted on Twitter. Beep. <laughs> and I won't participate in any tokens that he brings to market. Thank you for the free tokens back in the day for Pulse Dogecoin. And I bought more hex with it. That's enough. <laughs> okay. You guys, it's time for me to, to get off. It's 11.15. I will be back tomorrow night. See everybody. Okay. Cheers.